things have changed. I mean, we hear about how people outsource this to real people. Now, there's another possible route that apparently is an AI chatbot, which can do the work for you. I'm not sure whether it does the work well, but I've been reading about this, you know, here and there. It's called the Chat GPT, right? Uh, it's it's powered by AI, uh, made by a company based in San Francisco, and it's been available since last month, apparently for free public testing. So I wonder who's been testing it. Perhaps teachers, because, you know, they've got to spot the culprits down the road, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, for teachers, it's really proving to be a big worry because they're scared their students can actually abuse this technology down the road. Uh, Jonathan Sim is an instructor at NUS. Oh, he should know about this. I hear he's also been playing a lot with his chatbot. Good morning, Jonathan. Hi, good morning. Hello, thank you for joining us. Can we just ask whether these bot essays are convincing at all? Do they do they look like human work? Uh, well, it, it depends on what you're asking the bot to generate. So, for example, um, the first time I played with the, the AI, the mm-hmm. chat GPT, I asked it to write a story about a pig and a robot, you know, exploring uh, issues of friendship and uh, the meaning of life. Wow. And a pig and a robot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's very so, random. It was and, very, and, uh, and very yeah. open-ended as well. <laughs> you know? Yes. And, and it was actually very magical, you know. You can see the words just popping out on the screen one by one. You know, once upon a time, there was a pig named Peggy and blah 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 and I, I actually found the story very compelling in fact I showed wow. it to many of my students and they were uh-huh. like wow you know um, so uh, it, it can generate very very, very fantastic stories okay uh, but then you know in education we talk about uh, Bloom's taxonomy of learning right so so there are lower uh, uh, lower levels of thinking like recalling facts uh-huh. or uh, demonstrating uh, comprehension understanding of a concept or a situation like what is democracy or you know things, okay. things like that right right this kind of lower level thinking, um, chat GPT can do a fantastic job. In fact, if I were to grade it, I might even give it an A. But no that's a, way. actually a, an A. That, that, okay. that, that is a caveat. There is a caveat, okay. which is, um, very regularly, I mean, I mean, a good way to think of chat GPT is that it's a very junior assistant, alright? It's not a, an essay generator, right? It's a very junior assistant. And as a junior assistant, it's very prone to errors. So even though it's good at uh, most of the time at generating facts, mm-hmm. okay, um, it can generate fake facts, fake quotations. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so sometimes it, it will tell you like, oh, you know, like maybe uh, Confucius said this or Abraham Lincoln said this, but none of them actually said any of these things, right? So, so, so that, that's something that we have to be very careful okay. of. Now, mm. um, there are also like higher other critical thinking uh, thinking abilities, you know, things like uh, evaluation, analysis, synthesis, you know, how do we take two mm-hmm. ideas and join it together? Mm-hmm. How do we apply the knowledge from one context to another? Or how do right. we use whatever knowledge we have to create something new? Right. Now, all this, the AI isn't actually very good at doing it. I see. Um, okay. uh, a, a good way to think about it is that the AI, you know, we, we train the AI with... Uh, uh, a large volume of uh, inf- information, of conversations, books, articles, okay. uh, serious and non-serious, right? Yep. So essentially, it's like a student that has memorized thousands of model, uh, model essays. So, so if I give it a, a question that happens to be very close to one of the model essays that it has memorized... Of course, the answer is going to appear very, very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, Should we get our technicals, Arnold? Yeah, yeah. No, I just want to know. So it sounds as though at this point, Jonathan, it might do reasonably well at the lower secondary, upper secondary levels, maybe a little bit mm-hmm. of JC levels, but it starts to falter a little bit as we get to higher levels at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. Is that a fair yes. assessment yes, at this point? Yes, it, it will falter, but but it depends on the kinds of essay questions that that are uh, that educators are asking. Sure. So, so like like I said, if 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 the essay is just you know what happened uh, uh, in this period uh-huh. or what what is this concept, then so, it, yeah. it's, it's okay. But but if if we start asking you know like if evaluate this sit, uh, uh-huh. concept or, yeah. or whatever, mm. no, it, it will do okay. uh, very jo- mediocre. Jonathan, job. as an educator, mm-hmm. what steps are you taking to detect cases of possible abuse? by students using chat GPT? Okay, so I think 
the best way to, to go forward with this is uh, we, we need to go back to what is the purpose of higher education, right? And if we say that we want to prepare them for life after graduation, prepare them for this uncertain world with all the new tech disruptions, then mm-hmm. we cannot treat chat GPT or any of these AI tools as, as, a, as a taboo subject, you know? Like some educators do have this worry that if we expose it to them, more students will cheat. That, mm. But that shouldn't be the way to go. Uh, this is a place of learning, so we should actually uh, teach them how to use it well, yep. how to really take their learning further with it. And in okay. fact, you know, the, um, one, one activity that I'm actually preparing for next semester, which I think is a very good exercise, is to really encourage students to use ChatGPT. You know, we get them to yes. make an essay, mm-hmm. generate an essay, and then use it, get the students to critique the essay. Right. Why is this essay not an A essay? And at university levels, you know, I've been generating a lot of essays just to test it out. Okay. Most of them are around B, B minus grade for, okay. for university level, right? Okay. So it's actually a very good learning opportunity to get students to sit down, you know, learn how to generate it, and then ask, why is this not an A essay? And then students will start to appreciate, like, oh, okay, because... Uh, this thing is missing from the essay, that mm. thing is missing from the essay, they, they, they also learn how to write better. But more importantly, they also start to recognize that, you know, AI isn't this yep. magical, fantastic sure. uh, solution. It has yes. its limitations. So basically what you're saying is we need to embrace it, find ways to use it, find ways to, to help us, for, for the technology to help us as opposed to, to get in the way. But Jonathan? you can't run away from it, huh? Thank you very mm-hmm. much. Appreciate you talking to us. I'm sure we'll have this conversation again soon as chat GPT improves over the weeks and months ahead. Thank you, Jonathan. Have a good one. Happy New, uh, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Jonathan Sim, Instructure at NUS. 